Lenovo's ThinkSystem DE Series Storage provides best-in-the-industry price performance while giving you very strong data management capabilities. In this video, we'll look at the graphical user interface for the DE Series, which is called the ThinkSystem System Manager, and in particular, we'll look at the dashboard view and the performance views that you can see. When I first log in to the DE Series graphical user interface, I'm presented with this home screen that gives me a general overview of the status and health of my system. I have storage level performance at the top, and you can see that I can look at various different time intervals uh, going back certain periods of time. And I can see that for IOPS, for throughput, or for CPU. Down below, I have a capacity view that shows me how much of my storage is allocated. In other words, currently dedicated to volumes and copy services features. Free, that is available for creating new volumes and copy services features. And how much is unassigned. And you'll notice further that these question marks, which appear throughout the graphical user interface for the DE series, give me convenient pop-ups if I'm not quite sure what a certain uh, area on the interface means. To the bottom right, I have the storage hierarchy view. And this is important because it illustrates uh, some of the key concepts for the DE series storage. Here is the storage array that I'm working with. It's a DE4000F, and it consists of one shelf, 24 drives in that shelf. I can go from any of these with the drop-down to more details for that particular level of construct. From my 24 drives, I've created a pool and a volume group. Now these are two key concepts because they're different ways for me to use the drives in my system. A volume group is what you would typically think of as a storage, you might think of it typically as a storage pool, but pool means something else here. But a volume group is composed of RAID arrays. So that's the traditional way of working with storage. A pool on the other hand which is also called a dynamic disk pool, is a form of distributed RAID that gives me spare capacity striped over a number of disks in the pool instead of single spare drives. This is important because when a drive fails, a pool gives me greatly improved capabilities, greatly improved speed for rebuilding the data because all of the drives in the pool can participate instead of just the single spare drive having to be rebuilt. So on the DE series, I can define pools or volume groups, and we'll look at how we do that in a subsequent uh, video. And then from pools or volume groups, I create volumes, I map them to hosts, and I define workloads on them. So the mapping to hosts is uh, similar to many other arrays. The workload capability, which again we'll look at in a subsequent video, gives me uh, capability to uh, more quickly deploy certain workloads. It has built-in wizards that understand best practices for uh, uh, storage management for certain applications. Let's look at the performance details view. That takes me to another nice graphical view from which I can look at uh, performance from a logical viewpoint, a physical viewpoint, or from the viewpoint of applications and workloads. The logical view deals with logical constructs such as IOPS and MEG, and I can look at uh, individual uh, objects here. So I can filter only on my disk pool or only on my volume group, let's say, and refresh the graph. I can do the same thing for certain volumes. From the physical point of view, I deal with physical constructs or elements of the DE series device, which would be channels or drives. Again, I can see IOPS, throughput, CPU, and I even have a 
view down at the bottom called Headroom. So here I can hover over uh, the question mark, or I also have, again sprinkled throughout the interface, convenient links to help files. What does the Headroom graph show? It's related to remaining performance capability for the controllers. So throughout the interface, I have these links to the built-in help documentation that can uh, explain things to me as I'm configuring my system. Finally, from the performance view, I have applications and workloads where I can deal with the individual applications I've deployed uh, on my particular device. I can again filter by certain, uh, certain applications or certain workloads and display the graphical performance information uh, just, for, uh, just for those applications or workloads. So we can go back to our home screen and that gives you an overview of the graphical user interface, the home screen or dashboard view, uh, view of the storage hierarchy and capacity used, as well as a look at performance details that I can uh, display in a graphical manner. For more information, please check out our other YouTube videos or contact the Lenovo Executive Briefing Center.